Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Happy Halloween, boo. I'm gonna share with you a nice Halloween trick. We're gonna be focusing on the trim command. Now, I know that's a command you probably use all the time. There's a nice option that lives in the trim command, and I just wanna make sure that you know all about it so you can take full advantage of it, okay? This is gonna save you some time. So I'm gonna make this really simple. I'm gonna go into the trim command here. Let me get over here, get out of here, go into the trim command. And to start off with, I'm going to show you something, a trick I've actually shared with you before, but let's just make sure, in case you haven't made your way through all of the videos that you're familiar with this, just off the bat. Uh, there's a great default, came out in the last few releases, well, it's been in the, in the command forever, but they finally told us about it, um, select all. So if I hit an enter, everything in the drawing becomes a cutting edge, which is really nice because that's going to save you some time. You don't have to individually select those cutting edges, which is really, really nice. So let me just kind of come in here. And uh, since everything's a cutting edge, now it should be noted that nothing is highlighted, so you just have to go with it, right? Just like the force. You just have to believe, like a ghost in Halloween, right? So I'm just, I, everything's everything is selected, even though it's not highlighted, so I'm just going to come in here and cut, cut out those little edges, okay? So that's, that's a trick I've shared with you before, but just for those of you who haven't tuned in. So let's talk about the trick of the day, though. So I actually want to cut this wall but I wanna use these two lines as my cutting edge. Now let's face it, those lines don't actually go through. Um, it, they are, don't really cut the line, right? So let me show you what I mean. Let me go back in the trim command. And I'm gonna select these individually so you can see what I'm talking about. Pick that, that guy there and that guy there. And if I come down here and try to trim off the part I don't want, you wanna see it, it says no, 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 you can't do that. And that is because there's an option actually a, a system variable too called edge mode. There's the edge option and right now it's set to no extend. So you want to have it set to extend. What happens is, is that AutoCAD will do an imaginary extension of my cutting edges and now if I come in here no problem. It's easy for me to trim those lines. See what I mean? Now the same thing is true incidentally for the extend command. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation. Um, let's say I want to extend these two lines and I want to use these as my boundary edges. Same situation. Let's go into the extend command. I'm going to go ahead and select these as my boundary edges so you can see them very clearly. And since I have edge still on, edge mode is still on, you'll see it's still set to extend. It's a little confusing. We've got a lot of extends and edges going on here. I can come in here and I can easily select these lines and even though these boundary edges don't really cross that line, it's going to extend them anyway. Of course, after that, I'd have to do some trimming in here, <laughs> wouldn't I? So, and just so you know, like I said, there is a system variable called edge mode where you can manually go into edge mode and you can turn it on or off. I think most of the time you probably just want to leave it on. So once you get it set, you'll be in good shape. All right, so hey, have a happy Halloween and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.